So the news we've been wanting to hear for ages, the iPhone 15 Pro Max event date has been leaked. Let me share with you the date of this event in this iPhone 15 Pro Max release date and price video. So as we continue into August and as you will see in today's video, so many leaks and reports are now in. I'll be making videos dedicated for the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max today and that also possible iPhone 15 Ultra. And if you've watched one of these videos before, you will know that later on this week, I'll be also making a video for the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. But today I mainly want to focus on the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 15 Pro Max and all the leaks and rumors around that. But today's video actually affects all iPhone 15 models. We've actually had a leak in what's telling us when the actual iPhone 15 date is happening and I want to share with you all the details about this. So recently, we've been told that Apple employees who work at the Apple Park campus, so that's that big round ring thing where we normally see Apple events happen at, we've been told that employees are not allowed to take off one day in September, and that is Wednesday, September 13. If you know anything about Apple, then you will know that this time of year is the most common time when Apple do an event for their new iPhone models. Now, we thought that the iPhone 15 event could happen on a Tuesday, but like last year, it looks like it's now happening on a Wednesday. But for my thoughts on this, I think this is definitely evidence that this is when the Apple event is going to happen. I think probably the new norm now going forward, it's going to be a Wednesday when Apple do an iPhone event in future years. And at year day, it's mid-September time, perfect time for Apple to do a launch of an iPhone as we've seen in previous years. But when will we actually get our hands on those physical iPhones and when will we be able to pre-order them? Again, using past history here as a baseline, generally speaking, Apple do their event in the middle of the week, what we've talked about, and normally by the end of that same week, so say the Friday, you can pre-order your iPhone. So mark this in your calendar that most likely you'll be able to pre-order an iPhone 15 on Friday, September 15th, and then most likely we'll be able to get our hands on an iPhone 15 model a week later. So I would say this will be September 22nd. Again, this is Friday. Again, my thoughts on this, I think this will be quite normal if this has actually happened. So obviously that we pre-order a few days later after the event and then say a week later we can get our hands on it. However, what I would also say is that also in previous years, we have actually had to wait maybe an extra week or two to get our hands on certain iPhone 15 models. And this may happen again this year. So there is the possibility that we may have to wait say September the 29th or even October 6th to get our hands maybe on one or two of the models. We had this with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 mini and also last year we had this with the iPhone 14 Plus where we had to wait a week or two extra to get our hands on it. Now, just before I continue on, now is a good time more than ever to mention that not all reports and leaks that you're seeing here are 100% proof that they are coming true based on the new iPhone. I only present to you what reports of information that are out there, and these renders that you're seeing here are based on this information that we've been told so far. So basically, what this means is the final iPhone may not look like these renders here. However, if you're watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next iPhone anyway. So then guys, have you ever been in that situation where, for example, you've forgotten your PIN code to get back into your phone? I know I've been in that situation many, many times. Or let's say, for example, you've recently updated to a new version of iOS and then suddenly something goes a bit wrong and like for example your phone is stuck in a boot loop and you can't get out of it and you don't want to lose your data what's on your iPhone. Well this is where Dr. Phone by Wondershare comes in place. Dr. Phone gives you so many abilities, including the ability to unlock your phone if you've forgotten your code or even your Apple ID. Also, it can do repairs on your iOS if you've got any corrupt files inside your system. And also, it's got many other features too, including phone transfer, WhatsApp transfer, and many, many more. 
is definitely the Swiss Army knife for your phone if anything goes wrong. And I'm so glad that I have got it. And if you want to get your hand on it as well, make sure you check out the link what's being displayed on the screen right now. And also this will be in my description too. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So next of all, let's do a summary of everything we know so far for hardware specs and also the prices too for the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So starting out, let's look at the iPhone 15 Pro. Again, it'll be a 6.1 OLED display, resolution 2532 by 1170. It will also have that 120 Hertz Pro Motion display inside it. And this time for the first time ever, we'll have eight gigabytes of RAM inside an iPhone. Storage options looks like they're gonna change slightly. So we'll actually be starting at 256 gigabytes as the smallest space available that you can pick. And this We'll be going all the way up to two terabytes this time that's what we've been hearing in some rumors but it might still stay at one terabyte we're not too sure at this stage but the other thing as well is we will be getting an a17 bionic chipset inside it again very similar architect to previous chipsets where this will have a four efficiency cores two performance cores and a five core gpu but the actual body of the iphone 15 pro will actually be made out of titanium this time it won't be made out of aluminium aluminium or aluminum depending where you are in the world and it'll also have a triple camera setup and also have that lidar sensor again the battery size at the moment is looking to be about the same size as the iphone 14 pro so this is 3095 milliamp battery size and the base model of the 256 gigabyte model will be coming in at 1099 us dollars and again i will mention in other countries it might be a little bit more or a little bit less on release then finally, we have the biggest iPhone of them all, the iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Ultra. The name is gonna be confirmed a bit more nearer the time, but it will be coming in at 6.78 inch display. And it'll be an OLED display at 2,778 by 1,280. Again, this will be a ProMotion display, a 120 Hertz one. It will again have eight gigabytes of RAM up or from two gigabytes more of the six gigabytes that we got with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And and storage options again will start at 256 gigabytes this time going all the way up to the room of two terabytes which was really exciting out there but it may also still be one terabyte but main thing is what is most likely going to happen is the storage size is going to be up to 256 gigabytes we will also be getting the A17 Bionic chipset, very similar architect to the A16. It will have four efficiency cores, two performance cores, and it will also have a five core GPU again. So that's really, really cool. We'll also get that new titanium body on this iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Ultra. And we'll also get a triple camera setup, but one of those cameras will have a six times or a 10 times optical zoom, which is really, really exciting. We will also still get the usual wide and ultra wide sort of sensors too and we'll also be getting the lidar sensor the battery size at the moment we've been told is probably going to be around the same sort of size as last year's so this is 4352 milliamp battery size but this could change nearer the time the base model of the 256 gigabyte model will be coming in at 1299 us dollars now this is going to be a little bit more than compared to other previous years main reason is because of that brand new optical zoom and also possibly because of that brand new ultra name but like i have said guys this is the pricing for the us in other countries it could be a little bit more or it could be a little bit less and there we have it folks that's a summary of the iphone 15 pro and the iphone 15 pro max and also we know a bit more about the release date do remember guys i will also be making another video middle of this week coming for the iphone 15 and the iphone 15 plus and any leaks and rumors about that one too but also guys if you have enjoyed watching this video please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest on apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i will see you really soon take care bye bye